Hey, welcome everybody. This is Lance here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Belton, Missouri. Today I've got the privilege of uh, showing off this beautiful 2020 King Air. It is going to be a 45, 49 model. And one of the things I just want to point out with the King Airs, they're an ultra luxury coach. This is the highest in production coach made bar none. And there's going to be so much about this coach. When you first look at this front cap here, one of the things that just I really like what Numar has done is they hidden the windshields up here in the front. So you got the big beautiful bonded windshield. You'll notice it has a little black box right here. That's part of the mobile eye system. So uh, lane departure, lane detection. Uh, it's going to have collision mitigation built on the Spartan K3 chassis. But one of the things that Numar does is they take the Spartan K3 with the top rail only and then they custom build their own. Uh, what they call the uh, STAR foundation. It stands for strong, true, and robust. And it gives this a superior ride quality like none other. The other thing that I really like here is this front cap here up here in the front. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and bring this out so you can get a peek at what that looks like. I really like how this whole entire lower cap just comes out. It really does make it easy if you need to get some maintenance done, if you need to get some maybe some lights worked on. Everything is completely accessible behind the cap as far as your electrical. You've got that big, huge 12.5 kilowatt Cummins Owen generator, and we've got uh, 271 hours on that generator. So she is just getting started. You've got your windshield wiper fluid down there, down below. And you do have a air, air supply line right there. So if you do want to blow up the tubes for the grandkids, you've got uh, the air supply to do it. Now as we get ready to come down, our first bay here is going to be the electrical bay. Great place to come. If you've got a power seat that goes out, everything is clearly labeled. If you need to look for a fuse, we've got this little fuse caddy right here that's going to aid you in uh, storing some fuses there. Now this first bay is going to have a pressure sprayer. I like how they integrated it in here in the first bay. And you're going to notice up here a couple of filters. This is going to be a secondary water filtration system for the King Air that has an ultraviolet um, filtration system that really does add that next layer of safety. So when you've got water going to your freezer and your ice cubes, and your water, you know you're getting really clean water. Now this will have dual fuel on either side. And speaking of fuel, the King Air has a 200 gallon fuel capacity. You'll notice the drip guard here. I like that. When you're pulling the nozzle out, you've got something to catch that so the fuel's not getting on your paint. Now as we uh, come to our first bay, you'll notice the location of this switch right here. This is going to be a power slide tray and I like the fact that they've got the location of the switch right here on the door so very easy to get to and then you're gonna notice this will actually come off so if you got something extra heavy you can load it up there and then slide it in each of, each of these trays are gonna have a thousand pound uh, capacity so that is a lot of weight that this tray can handle We'll go ahead and get this thing brought back in. And as we get ready, I'm going to just show you guys another little feature too that's the King Air is uh, famous for is the uh, the slip hinge here. You'll notice there at the end how this door drops. A little extra money uh, spent here in developing the hardware that goes into the hinge hinge work here. But what this does is if your doors are open and you're bringing your slide in, you don't have to worry about crunching your door. The other nice feature about the King Air is I don't have to sit there and slam it. This has got a push button, so it'll just, all I gotta do is lightly close it and it'll suck the door in on its own. So next bay over is gonna be our uh, power cord bay. You're gonna have a 50 foot 50 amp uh, service here and this is going to have two 3000 watt inverters so tons of power in that power cord the button right here is located this will actually reel in the cord 
So again, it's all about convenience with the King Air. So this is where it gets a little bit more exciting for the King Air. When you're getting into a luxury coach, new King Air uh, today, they're hitting that MSRP of around 1.6 to 1.7 million dollars. But you can see all the stainless here. And look at this, this is still, this thing's still out of the wrapper. You still got the uh, protective thing here on the stainless. But you can see it's got the water manifold system. If your plumbing goes out, let's say in your kitchen or in one of the sinks, you don't have to turn plumbing off to the entire coach. You can just isolate that one problem until you can get a plumber out or you can get it fixed yourself. You've got electronic valves as far as opening and closing your gray and black tanks. So push of a button, you don't got to sit there and pull on the handles. Very nice for people that might have arthritis. You've got your uh, tank levels here, clearly labeled. I just think they did a fantastic job with this wet bay. The uh, hot and cold water shower, very nice, very nice shower head out here. Maybe a way to wash the pets, wash the sand off your toes. Your fresh water is on a power reel as well. And it's always nice to have a hot water spigot. So if you want to hook your, uh, if you want to wash something off with hot water, you do have that availability outside. Now, if you can peek inside there, this is going to have 16 six volt batteries. That is an absolute ton of power. Those batteries go all the way across to the other side of the coach. And uh, what this allows you to do is you can run a single air conditioner. So if you're driving down the road and you want to turn on an AC to help keep the house cool as you're traveling, it gives you that option to be able to do that. So this is going to be just an extra storage bay. And then next bay over, you're going to see we have the death uh, fuel up. So you can do it from either side with the death. Now, if we just stand back and take a look at this thing, you can see it's got the stainless there at the bottom. And then absolutely beautiful paint job. And you can see the uh, power window awnings here. That's all controlled by a push of a button. And then this coach will actually have the 360 degree camera system. So this is going to have a total of eight cameras total. There's actually a camera at the uh, front door too, so you can see who's coming up at the door. Now with the 2020 King Air, you will have the 605 Cummins motor. This is a beast. 1,950 pounds of torque, 20,000 pound towing capacity. You're going to have an air supply already built into the rear hitch, so if you've got an Air Force One, it's already set up for it. I just love the sound of this motor. So this rear tailgate is going to be on an air actuator. Let's see if we can go ahead and open that for you so you can see what that looks like. So I don't have to sit there and mess with any kind of a, a lock. This is all controlled through air, the air in your system. Easy access to the rear motor, changing out your fluids, maybe changing out a serpentine belt. This is all about being uh, customer friendly, but also very tech friendly. We'll go ahead and close this up. And because we're on the Spartan K3 chassis, you're going to notice how easy it is to get to your air dryer, your fuel separator. Here's the fuses for your rear tail lights. So very accessible and just a very nice, clean and easily accessible uh, to get to a lot of your different components. This is the other side for your death fuel up. Again, so you can do that from either side of the coach. Always nice to be able to have that ability to do that. So with the tag axle on the 2020 King Air, because we're on the Spartan K3 chassis, this does have a 17 degree wheel cut. So this rear tag axle will turn as you're driving. And this just gives you access to the other side of the uh, battery bay. So this could be either for tools, maybe if you're a big barbecuer, this could be a great area to store your condiments for your guests. This is going to have the dual Dometic refrigerator freezer. So it's nice to be able to program it to be either way. It does have the uh, outside central vac. 
So if you want to plug in your hose, you want to clean out your bays, uh, that gives you a nice ability to keep things clean. So looks like the previous customer did order this King Air with a hammock package. I didn't see the hammock bag in here, but it's something that you can always order from Numar, but at least the hardware is already attached to the wall. So you do have the ability to put a hammock out here. Now on the King Air, you'll notice the shelf that was built in just above this. What's nice, because when you start stacking things in there, things get a little bit of wobbly, right? So it's just nice to have that extra storage just above that slide tray. Equipped with uh, outside entertainment, you have got your Bose speaker system, your Samsung 4K TV, and then you do also have a power outlet right here. So it's got USB and 110. So plenty of options for power and just tons of storage. I mean, you are loaded. Look how much storage this is. This is a lot of storage. And when you're traveling, if you're a full timer, storage is very important. Now I love these Gerard Nova awnings. These are the kind of awnings that go out and drop down, give you a little bit more shade. And here's the other side of that uh, fuel. You'll see it has the drip guard on it as well. And one of the things that Newmore is famous for is having a steel plate right here that protects the fuel line. So if you ever get a tire blowout, you do have a way of uh, protecting this fuel line from getting shredded. As we get ready to come into the coach, I want you to notice the camera we have here. So you got four cameras on the upper part of the coach for the bird's eye view. You also have your left, right, and backup camera. So that's seven total, and this makes the eighth camera. So this camera allows you to see who's at your front door. You got your keyless entry, you've got your doorbell there. And then I love this beautiful stainless King Air logo they got here. If you got the fur babies, this is just a nice way of keeping the pets from pushing their way through the screen. And then uh, one of the other nice features is this triple hydraulic step that King Air comes with. You've got sensors on the front and you've got sensors underneath. So if you hit a curb or if it hits your leg, it's just a nice safety component that it stops the steps. So, well, that does, that's a quick peek for the outside, guys. Let's go see what we got going on, on the inside. All right, guys. Well, welcome to the inside of this beautiful 2020 King Air. So we're just going to go over a few things here in the cockpit. Now, we can go more into detail. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call and we can do a FaceTime video and get a little bit more into depth. But I do want to cover over some very important factors. Uh, one, this coach does have hydraulic and air leveling. So uh, this part of here would be the hydraulic leveling. And then you can see you do have the ability for uh, air leveling. So you can do manual air, you can do auto air, You've got to be kidding me. It's time to wake up, Lance. I know. Okay. <laughs> so so you do, having the ability to do uh, air leveling, uh, you can also control ride height. So a lot of neat features. And you're going to see we do have some really nice oversized monitors here. Uh, it does really make it nice to have a nice big monitor when you're making lane changes. And uh, some of the other neat features about this coach is you can see just on the paddles here on the side of the steering wheel you can handle the tilt and then you've got your telescoping over here. And then down below you do have uh, the paddles that control your pedals as well. So you can bring them in or out. So just above us we're going to have Command Central. And what's kind of nice about the Silverleaf system is you do have a camera system. Well, I'm just going to scroll through some of the pictures here. Oh, here we go. So it does have a camera. You can see me. Uh, so if you're driving, maybe you've got some grandkids and if they're out there goofing around, you can see them with what's going on back there. So it's nice to be able to see that. Um, so you're going to have the ability to control your awnings, your drapes, your your window awnings so a lot of neat functionality in the overhead cabinet now on the passenger side you're going to see they have their own monitor system so they can cycle through all the different camera views themselves so i mean the, the options are really just endless just depends on what view they want to look at 
Maybe they want to look at the 360 bird's eye view. They got the uh, wireless phone charging system. They can control their own air over here, the air conditioning. So the other thing that the passenger and driver also get, which is really nice, is heated and cooled seats. And then the other nice feature is you can, uh, these are also massage seats. Something that you come to expect when you're getting into a King Air, you're getting uh, all the creature comforts. All right, now as we get ready to come into the living space, one of the things that uh, I'd like to point out, so some of these coaches, like other luxury coaches, you might see where they have a dinette across from the entertainment theater seating. This particular floor plan I like a little better because if somebody's back here eating, if the dinette was located over here, then you'd have to look through their head to watch TV. There is a TV in this cabinet here, just behind that couch. We'll see if we can get, yeah, a view of that. So push the button. That comes up out of the cabinet. You got these beautiful uh, sconces here. Just adds a nice touch, gives it a nice residential feel. I mean, this is more like a luxury condo than, than an RV. You're gonna have outlets on both sides of the couch and beautifully done cabinets. I love the, the nice oversized hardware. This makes it easy for opening and closing cabinets. Sometimes you get the little knob, it's a little harder to open, but these nice oversized, uh, the hardware there just makes it really nice. Now across from us, we're gonna have this beautiful entertainment theater seating. And you can see this big, beautiful window. I've got the uh, awning down. It's a little bit bright on this side of the coach. So it is nice. This awning goes the whole length between the living room, clear back into the dining. So it's a nice big power awning on that side. You've got plenty of storage down here. And then you just move that tray and you got room for pillows, blankets. And I just love the design. This is beautiful, beautiful decor. And uh, coming into the dinette area, one of my favorite uh, table setups, I like it when they have this nice depth here. Gives you plenty of room for a printer, maybe a monitor. If you're gonna maybe entertain, this could be like the buffet area. And if it's just gonna be you and uh, a few other friends, you can't extend this out. And then the chairs are absolutely exquisite too. Now you'll notice the chair, how flush that floor is. So if somebody is sitting here and maybe you just needed to have that little extra seated space because you've got room for what, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn the chair around. It's not off center, it's nice and flush. So people could be here entertaining, uh, visiting with your friends and family, and it just uh, lends itself to a much more comfortable environment. All right, guys, so with a little movie magic, let's show you what these cabinets look like with them opened. All right, guys, so here you go. Uh, a ton of drawer space, as you can see. They extend out quite a ways, all soft closing, just very nice high-end cabinetry. Great place to put some files. Uh, some nice storage down below, and it's actually quite deep. It's not very shallow at all. And then you got a place for a desktop here, maybe a keyboard. And then you can run your wires if you want to put a monitor. There's a knockout right over here in the corner. So it does allow you to maybe hook up a printer, a monitor, and run your cords through, through the countertop. All right. Well, that's it for the dinette. Let's check the rest of the coach out. All right. Now, as we get ready to go into the kitchen, I want you to notice the base there. So you got these beautiful plank floors, and then you can see the stainless there. And it just looks like the plank floor just keeps going underneath the cabinet. So it gives a nice, big, beautiful open feel. I like the multi-tiered counter space here in the kitchen. Uh, it does help protect if you spill anything from coming over here, but it's a nice place. Maybe you got some place for spices. You got a little power tower right there, outlets on the other side. So along with the Wolf Induction cooktop, you've got your beautiful GE convection microwave oven and the cap, the cabinets are absolutely gorgeous. This is a sable maple that the Newmar makes 
and everything's carpet lined inside so when you look in here very nice carpet lined on the upper shelf as well and that's adjustable and very deep i'd like to give you guys an idea of just how deep this is so actually you know what better than this let's take this guy this is a pretty big pretty big item and you still got plenty of room in there so there's a ton of space in there and the uh just below us we got this really beautiful kitchen sink you've got your uh, dedicated hot water now we've got this wrap because the coach is winterized we just want to make sure that's not dripping antifreeze everywhere but beautiful uh stainless sink and i like how they got this middle divider lowered a little bit so if you got those big rectangular pans that you use in the oven you can actually lower it you don't have to have clean it outside the sink gorgeous uh cabinets with these nice built-ins now with king air you do get the dovetail construction here on the cabinets all upper end high end stuff all right so moving on in to the refrigerator i do love how they uh, framed this out with the sable maple cabinet so the refrigerator looks just like the rest of the cabinetry very well done and you can remember earlier we were talking about the ultraviolet water filtration so it runs through the filtration in the wet bay and then it goes through the ultraviolet filtration so by the time the water comes out here on the door it's really really clean beautiful pantry I like how it lights up as soon as I open it up. These are all adjustable too, so you can get some of those taller items in there. You can adjust it to your preference. Now across from us, we're gonna get into the half bath. You'll notice the handle is recessed. If I got the slide closed, I don't want this handle catching on my belt loop. So it's just very nice to, and you'll notice how it, it hinged here in the middle of the door so the door doesn't have to take up so much space when it's opening but if you look at the placement of the toilet it has got plenty of room for those taller folks they got long legs beautiful vanity i like how the mirror actually lights up as well and then just above the toilet there to the left you do have a, a cabinet as well central vac located here in the half bathroom You've got the toe kick, so you can throw away the dustpan and a little port there for your hose. All right, guys, as we get ready to head into the bedroom, I want you to notice the opening space here. It's very wide. It's got plenty of room for two people to pass through, so it get, lends itself to a, a more open feel. And as we get ready to come in here, you'll see that it's got the big, beautiful king bed. And I want to also point, to, uh, point out this nice little headboard right here. It's actually very functional you can open it up and allow uh, a lot of light to come in through that window and then it does have its own blackout shade as well so uh, nice features and you got windows on both sides of the bed that actually do open up to get that cross ventilation and you'll notice the little circle there on the countertop that's where you can put your phone it is a wireless charging station just a neat little feature there you got your 110 outlet a little extra storage now, as we uh, go to the foot of the bed here, you're gonna notice we got our silver leaf panel. I also wanna point out the camera. I just love this functionality where you can cycle through. Remember, you got eight cameras total outside the coach. So you've got, and this is, if you're, if you're in here, you got your doors closed off to the bedroom. If you wanna see what's going on in the living room, you do have a camera inside the coach as well. So really cool features there and a lot of different functionality there we can go over once you guys give me a call. And then you guys actually do have just some basic functions like lights. Uh, we can go through, check out, uh, close and open the shades, the fans, things of that nature. Now this does have the motion sensor. If I was to push this and we turn that on, that lights up. If you turn all the lights off and this is on, as I get up and I walk through the coach, I make my way to the living room or I make my way to the restroom, it'll start lighting up in the areas that I'm at. So it'll detect my motion, it'll light up. It's just like if you're in the grocery store and it lights up as you go, 
and then that way eventually it'll turn itself back off too when you leave that area. Now over here you're going to see we do have a, a beautiful uh, countertop but hidden underneath there we're going to have a TV. So let's see if we can bring that up. Okay guys, so one of the nice features about this is actually having a televator that recesses inside the cabinet. So with a push of a button, we can stow the TV in the, in the cabinet here and it gives us the nice window. So we're not sacrificing our window for the TV. So we can still allow some nice natural light to come in. And then you'll notice too, the awning, that if I need a little more direct sunlight here in the bedroom, I can control the different levels in which that window awning is at. So if I want it at 10 degrees, if I want it at 20, 30, 90, uh, I've got the options to do that. All right, guys, so coming on in here into the bathroom, I want just to kind of point out this nice little rail system here, kind of like that old barn door flooring. So you got the paint, the plank flooring, the barn door really does just uh, add to a, a nicer uh, luxury feeling. So easy glide on the rail there. And coming into the bathroom, I want to point out this shower. Just it's absolutely massive. Uh, just a beautiful flower a shower. Well, I guess it would look like a flower. Look at that shower head. It's actually uh, a nice big shower head. You got your shampoo, conditioner dispenser there. It does have the aquamizer, so you can preheat the water before it comes out of the shower head. And we did winterize this, so we got the hand wand down here. And I think it's probably dry enough now, so. Uh, you got your teak seat there, so if you want to sit and soak, you've got all the room to do that. And then off the other side here, you got this beautiful hammered sink. I mean, all the attention to detail, you got the light here inside the mirror. I like how they've got this crown molding and this canopy kind of over the sink. And if you look at the ceiling, how they've arched this roof, I like this cathedral style ceiling. It gives you a nice big open feel. And then at the end of the shower here, it does have this nice little linen cabinet place to store maybe sheets, towels. And you'll notice right now, I'm actually standing in the closet. So a nice flush floor coming into the closet. I've got my washer and dryer right here. So out of the dryer, onto the hanger. Uh, you can uh, stow some stuff here in your, uh, your own safe. And then you do have this built in here into the rear wall here for maybe some shoes, just extra storage. And then you do have this nice deep storage over here. So you'll notice how we've got this, this backpack it's a nice deep store, so you've got all kinds of room there. Got that nice cedar uh, wall panel there. Well, guys, that's a quick peek at this beautiful 2020 King Air. If you guys would like to start your next adventure in this coach, give me a call. My name is Lance here at TransWest in Belton, Missouri. You can reach me at 208-290-5750. I look forward to hearing from you.